Hi everybody, just back again with another playful idea for you to try whilst you're not at school. Today's activity is called the Bubble Sock Snake. Um, it is an activity that's quite messy and slippy, so it's really good if you can do this one outside, but if you do not have an outdoor space, you can do this activity in the bath or in a shower cubicle. Just be really careful to rinse down after you finish because uh, it can make the surfaces really slippery. Now, there are plenty of um, complicated recipes for super duper bubble mixture on the internet um, involving ingredients like glycerin and corn flour and lots of different ingredients that you can try out to make really strong bubbles. But do you know what? You can make pretty good bubble mixture just with washing up liquid and with water. In true Blue Peter style, here's some I made earlier. It's just water with a really, really generous squirt of washing up liquid and it doesn't matter which type you use just make it until it starts being able to hold a bubble and then you should be ready to go to make the sock snake you're going to need a plastic bottle and to top, chop the end off the bottle if you need help from a grown-up to do this then ask ask for some help whilst you're cutting plastic with scissors once you have this made you also need something to put on the end. So you either need a pair of old tights or um, an old sock and you just chop off the toe and you get your bottle and you pop it over. That's it, it's as simple as that. If you're finding it won't stay on or you're using a piece of material like an old piece of um, t-shirt or recycled scrap material instead, you might find you need a rubber band to put around. Now, because we are in times where we're thinking about a virus and we're doing an activity where you're gonna put your mouth on the bottle, you need to have one bottle each. And don't share your bottles, and that keeps nice hygiene. As well as the sock snake, have a little think about what else would be good to make bubbles in your house. It doesn't need to be a bubble blower. It doesn't matter if you don't have a proper bubble set. So to make bubbles, you need something that leaves a little hole in the middle. So I've come up with some things and we're gonna try them out. So you might wanna look in the kitchen for some utensils. Uh, you could, oh, this is another kitchen one. Uh, maybe look in the garden. This is a little flower pot. You see it's got circles through the end. Or um, I went and raided the shed. This is something we'd normally use on holiday. Uh, it's a little rock pooling net. Also maybe good ideas would be um, plastic racket. A little badminton net have a look around your house and see if you can find some things that you think would be good if they don't belong to you ask the person they belong to before you try them out right all we're gonna do with our bottle with the tights and sock is dip it into the mixture and blow through the end and I've got two helpers to help me have a go at doing this in my garden. Okay, here we go. Quick dip. And go. Okay, here we go, trying some kitchen utensils. Are they gonna work? Right, next we're gonna try uh, the metal sieve. Pretty good. And lastly, we're going to try the rock pooling net. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> that's a great one. So have great fun looking for different bubble blowers in your house. I'm going to be back with another video soon. Until then, don't forget to play and I'll see you soon. <laughs>